going on everyone my name is Dan and in today's video we're going to take a look at all the phones I got in December 2023 and January 2024. Some of these phones you guys have already seen in other videos so they were kind of like a preview to what was to come here since those phones probably were new and you're about to see which ones they are. But we're gonna do this in alphabetic order starting off here with the Alcatel OneTouch 2045X. I actually bought this device for someone else but he decided he didn't want it anymore so I guess here it is it's a pretty simple phone got a camera on it pretty big buttons it's a pretty simple device actually just your standard call and text phone that has a couple of web features nothing too major it's like a feature phone with that out of the way we got Apple iPhone so I'm going to start off here with the iPhone SE 2016 it's a 64 gig model in pink or rose gold whatever you want to call it kind of scuffed up here on the back along the edges it looks pretty good still it's running a uh, iOS 15.4.1 which is probably like the most recent version but it works completely fine touch ID and everything it's all working perfectly, so there's nothing really too much about it. Then we have the iPhone 6 in the color white. This is in also kind of scuffed condition, but it's working perfectly fine despite that. It's have a little pressure thingy right here in the, in the screen when I press stuff. This is also a 64 gig model, as you can see. This one is running on iOS 12.5.5. Yeah, even Touch ID works on this, so this is actually one of the only, well, actually the only other iPhone 6 that I have that works with working Touch ID, the other one doesn't have that. Then we have this 2020 model iPhone SE. I don't really know why the Touch ID was acting up right there. This one is also working perfectly fine. It's in mint condition. It's a really nice looking phone here. Just has a worn battery as far as I know. This is running iOS 17.2.1 and it's a 128 gig version, so it's a pretty big capacity. Not sure if there's like a 64 gig one of this, but it's a pretty good one. Also, it's in super good condition. Then we have the DHT Chrome, which you have seen in a video that I made recently. This phone, I got it at a flea market. I paid a lot of money, actually, I paid eight bucks. It's not too much, actually, for this device, but it's more than what I usually pay for phones in the collection. As you can see, it works completely fine. It's a pretty interesting looking device here. Pretty nice vibes to it. Pretty cool phone. Yeah, I never heard of it before. I just bought it because I thought it looked interesting, so I ended up getting that, and I'm not really disappointed in that. So here we go, the GHD Chrome. Then we have HTC. Starting off with the HTC Evo 3D right here, which is broken, it has water damage. I cannot get this thing to work for the life of me, but here we got it. It's in really rough condition. Hopefully I'll end up with another one so I can like use some parts perhaps and make a good one, but who knows? Then we have the HTC Desire. This HTC Desire Desire still has its protective film on the display. It's actually in really good condition, works completely fine. It has slightly worn back letters here. And with slightly worn, I mean that the back is actually missing its letters. I have another one of these that has a broken display, so I might actually swap around the backs. What about now? And there we go, the old switch. Now we have a proper looking back here with its letters actually on there. But yeah, anyways, this phone just works completely fine as well. So that's pretty nice. That's pretty cool. Then we have two HTC wildfires, which also work completely fine. I had one of these, which also had a broken display. Now, as you can see, these things work. They just need to be reset. I will be resetting these soon. They still have WhatsApp on it. I think when you reset these things, they got Android market and these things actually have some applications on here. So, but yeah, they're gonna be reset here soon. I usually do this uh, immediately, but I just got these things a day ago, so I didn't do that yet. They are in pretty good condition. Otherwise, I mean, they're definitely used, but they are in, in great condition, not gonna lie. Pretty nice, pretty cool additions. And here's the last HTC. This is my HTC U11. I'm actually using this as my work phone. It actually got a number on it and everything. This is the newest HTC I have in my collection. And it's also just being used as my secondary, so I don't really have to go ahead and turn it off. Interesting factors, when you squeeze it, you can turn the camera on. You can use many different features with that. So yeah, I have set it to that right now. Then we have uh, this Motorola. There's actually an honorable mention here. I got a G5S 2 in this uh, two months, but I actually sold that coincidentally. So that's not going to be in here, honorable mention, I guess. 
This right here is a satellite phone, which is a Motorola. And yeah, the screen has some issues on it, so it kind of has like this crazy flashing display, and then uh, like everything just stays, the pixels stay on. It does work, it has a massive antenna, you can slide that out. This is pretty interesting, it's probably really expensive as well. It's, uh, it's actually such an incredibly large device and then it just pops off like that and it's pretty cool. I'm not really sure how this thing works, I can't see the screen but it's pretty interesting to me as well. So yeah, I'm not really sure what these things are used for, probably like really remote areas that you cannot have any service or whatever and it's hard to have contact with uh, anything so then you use one of these things and it's kind of convenient i guess in remote areas we start off with this nokia 6080 and i'm actually not sure if this thing works so i charge the battery a bit and let's see if there's anything gonna happen ah that's right it's on and we need to put in a pin code i'm gonna guess hmm, wrong ah we have one attempt left well, uh, I guess we're gonna have to switch that. Did a little switch trick. I think it's quite interesting that the buttons just are these like bars. It's kind of a luxurious phone. It looks pretty cool. And it has a pretty neat, simple design on it. And what makes this thing pretty cool is the fact that when you uh, lock the display, the buttons basically disappear and now this the buttons just sort of has disappeared it's a pretty uh, you know luxurious looking phone with golden buttons and stuff yeah it's pretty cool so yeah i'm not really sure about this thing too much it's pretty interesting just got it today i have no clue i didn't even know if it worked but we know now it's perfectly fine then we have this right here this is the nokia e71 this is one that i got very much recently i did have another one of these things and it actually missed a little button here on the qwerty keyboard now i have one that's near mint if not mint and for some reason the backlight is currently not doing anything which is interesting because it was working fine prior yeah, just as we speak, it just popped up. There we go, working completely fine. And this thing is in such good condition. Just this flap here just doesn't want to really stay in place at this point, which is sad because it seems like this is going to be falling off in the next second. So this one right here is uh, is not falling off yet, I hope. Yeah, it did, it just fell off. Well, you know, that stuff just happens. The materials deteriorate over time. Now on camera, that just happened. I'm just gonna leave it in there and, you know, just for the looks of it. But this thing is in such good condition, actually. Apart from my fingerprints, this thing just looks super mint. And it works completely fine. This is like perfect still. Such a nice phone, super business type device. Looks really nice. Brings me back to the old days, big throwback. Then we have this Nokia 6111. Hopefully there's still some juice left in the battery. There actually was still some like juice left in it, but there is something up with the battery which makes it disconnect from the terminals for some reason. But as you can see, the phone itself works nice. It's a pretty cool little phone. I just needed to buy it. Not really sure, it's, uh, it's pretty interesting. But when I slide it, oh, it actually just shut off again, just by doing that, by flipping it over. Yeah, usually when you slide it and stuff, it just turns off and that's it. So after that, we have Samsung. So I'm gonna start off right here with the Samsung L310. This is a flip phone. It looks really nice. It's probably a pretty uncommon one as well. I don't have a battery for this. I can't find one on the internet either, but I really wanna see this thing in action. So I might actually wanna try and get a battery for it. Yeah, so uh, it doesn't have a battery, but it is... A nice phone and i really want to see if there's any life in it when you plug it in actually the screen comes on and all that but that's about it then we have this samsung gte 2121b i bought it because it's boxed i don't really have too much interest for a phone like this but the fact that it was still boxed and it's in really good condition as well. It's a real like music phone to be honest. It has like all these music features and stuff. But yeah, it's uh, just an old simple Samsung feature phone with Bluetooth and all that. It's nice. It's really, really nice. Nothing too much about it actually, but welcome to the collection. Then we have this Samsung E7110, I think. Yeah, 1170, same thing. I actually got one of these from Phone Collection Pug, a good friend of me before in a phone trade. That one doesn't work. I have a working one right now, so if you want,
want that one back, then let me know. This reminds me of one of those tests you gotta do when you get your eyes checked. <laughs> but yeah, this thing has a little diamond button. It's like uh, pretty interesting, but not that interesting. Yeah, it works. So yeah, that's uh, that's nice. That's nice. Then we have this pink Samsung Star S5230. This thing actually has lines in the display, as you can see, but it works. It is in very rough condition. This thing has been through a lot, but apart from that, it is working completely fine. And that's nice. As you can see here, it has the lines in the screen, which is a common problem with these things for some reason. Uh, yeah, the device itself, it works fine apart from its damages. So the only color missing is black in my collection okay then the next samsung we have the samsung galaxy mini yay so if you remember from uh, my old videos i actually destroyed one of these things and i never got another one of these well say no more here we have another galaxy mini it took a little bit longer than i anticipated for this thing to start up but as you can see we have a working galaxy mini yeah here we go really nice not really that smooth yet but it does work and that's the most important vector of this device it is not in too bad shape but it's plastic so scratches are pretty common yep that's nice so um that's the galaxy mini then we have this samsung galaxy young in pink so apart from the white one and the completely black one i have all the colors of the galaxy young as well with this one being the pink model it actually works fine which is impressive because it, i wasn't expecting this thing to just work but these things have turned out to be beasts they are pretty reliable and this one just made its way into my collection all right so with the galaxy young out of the way we have another samsung galaxy ace however an Ace S5A30i to be precise. Now I didn't get it in this condition actually, I got it with cracks in the screen. But I did a little project, I will upload a video on that soon. This is the result, a pretty good looking white S5A30i. So you can see, pretty nice bezel still and all that, nothing too major. And of course this thing works pretty well for some reason <laughs> this, the uh, home screen crashed i'm not really sure why samsung logic or something i don't know but overall this thing works perfectly fine it looks really good it's kind of a nostalgic one too despite me never owning a white version of this uh, it's still a pretty you know nostalgic thing to have because of course i made the galaxy s5 830i before then we have this white samsung galaxy s3 this is a actual nice looking S3, this is not a Neo, as you can see at the top we have a mic and it's in really good condition, so this is really nice, actually just pretty nice white S3. I really want to have the other colors of this as well, but this is also really nice. As you can see, it also just works perfectly fine and it's pretty smooth like we're used to from the S3. To my knowledge, the last Samsung Galaxy in the bunch is this Galaxy S8. As you can see, the Galaxy S8 has some cracks in the screen, which is quite the common look of these things, unfortunately. Most of them have cracks in it. The back, however, is nice, it just has a big scratch. I wish it was the other way around, because the screens of these things are still really expensive. Prior to the HTC U11, this was actually my business phone. However, I decided that the HTC was a better option. It does have these cracks, but it doesn't have any black spots and it just works completely fine despite all that. No anomalies or anything, no problems with the touchscreen. It just works perfectly fine. And that was it with the Samsungs. Now we have the last two phones. I'm gonna start off with this Sony Ericsson W810i, which I got boxed. And this thing is in really good shape. It does have a little bit scuffs and stuff, but nothing too major. The best part is it actually still works. It also just works completely fine, looks good. I have another one of these, which is in worse condition. You now it does ask for a SIM card. But yeah, this thing, it just works nicely. Pretty cool. Really uh, brings me back to some better times, I guess. I really liked these phones back in the day. Yep. I really miss those times. I guess when you're watching this video, you might actually feel the same way. Maybe not. Let me know in the comment section below. And if you waited 
long enough and if you made it all the way through here comment ed hardy on the comment section to let if you actually watched all the way through this part comment ed hardy in the comment section below because here's the holy grail of this and last month's phones i got this right here is a w595 ed hardy edition these things are pretty rare i thought it was like a custom shell it turns out that this is actually a ed hardy edition and the best part of it is it works completely fine the only con at this point is the fact that it's missing this logo here it has a couple tiny little scratches and apart from that this thing just works so incredibly well still it looks so cool i bet if you would just pull up somewhere with this thing everyone would just be like whoa what kind of phone you got especially back in the day but right now with everyone having the same square phone this right here with everyone having the same square phones nowadays if you actually came up with one of these things you would probably really have an eye catcher and yeah that's the last phone of the bunch this is the w595 at hardy and with that out of the way here we have all the phones that i got in december and january and as you can tell from this view there are a lot these are 25 phones the 25 phones i got in the past two months yeah i am pretty much sure that i'm just increasing my collection in a very fast rate maybe a little bit too much occasionally but these things welcome to the collection I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment and if you're new to my channel and don't want to miss out on any new content in the future don't forget to subscribe. Now without further ado thank you for watching this video and see you later. Peace out.